Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento, any generation guys, and you need to test PCV valves. Stay with us, we'll explain how you can test it, how to find out if it's good or bad, and we'll demonstrate ours is bad guys and how to recognize that. All that will be covered in this video today. So let's go ahead and explain how to do that now. So as we said, that should work on most uh, generation Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento guys. Uh, before we start, let me tell you, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos guys. We take them completely apart and we show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, if you guys need to buy any parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. So with that being said, let's explain, okay, how we're going to do that now. So, uh, before we start guys, I forgot many of you recently have been asking us in the comment section below to share a good diagnostic to what we recommend, what we use. So that's the one guys and we'll put the link in the description of the video below. It's a great tool that can pay itself off in one time use. It works on almost any car you can think of. Kia is right here, but you can see it supports almost any vehicle and it's an all system scanner. So if you're on the market for a good diagnostic tool, check it out. The link will be in the description of the video. So. Now, we're going to remove the upper engine cover and with that being said guys, okay right here you can see on the valve cover usually you're going to find your PCV valve. Uh, it could be different location depending on the generation but the PCV valve will have a hose that goes to the intake manifold usually. Uh, the purpose of that valve guys, when the engine runs, the pistons go up and down, that creates pressure and if that pressure doesn't come out, what will happen? You will develop multiple oil leaks, you can start pushing engine oil through the intake guys, okay you can... Uh, actually end up uh, having uh, bad uh, crankshaft seals okay and even damage the head gasket because of that little thing guys so uh, that make can make you think that you have a bad engine and your engine can be smoking so bad because of that valve so how you guys test it we're going to remove it okay in most cases there with a 24 millimeter socket we just go ahead get it loose and we'll remove it then we will explain guys how you can simply test it at home and find out if it's good or bad. In my opinion it's not worth it trying to fix it because it's just a few dollars and we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. So this is the valve guys. Now right here that valve okay in our case guys okay that valve is shot and we have a special video that explains why we have so much carbon buildup and engine oil in the intake manifold because of that valve guys so if you look at that valve guys okay it's supposed to if you apply pressure on this side it's supposed to keep okay pressure okay and not leak out so in our case okay let's go ahead okay and explain how to do that a little bit of advertisement for our main channel guys check it out how to repair guys so right now guys that valve okay listen now that's actually leaking so that's a leaking valve guys if we bring that element in the middle it's going to close okay let's bring it to the middle right there now okay it wasn't leaking but i pressed it in okay now it's not leaking at all but if it comes to the side it starts leaking so our valve doesn't close guys because most of the times you'll be in a down position and our valve is not closing okay and the balloon is deflating so you can simply test that some people wash uh, clean them with a uh, with fluid okay with the intake manifold cleaner fluid and you can try to do that but uh, uh, usually i would recommend just to go ahead and replace them even if you check your manual you will say that it needs to be replaced so uh, when you press it in it should let the air out when you let uh, the screwdriver out okay the air should be uh, should stay in the balloon hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time